This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Deliverance Church International Ministries, located in Long Island, New York. Under the leadership of Apostle Asia Hurd, our founder and overseer, and Bishop Isaac Walter Hurd, in service of the Holy Spirit. Our Kenya Africa Division of Cornerstone Deliverance Ministries is under the leadership of Pastor Reuben Simeon. Our founding scripture for this ministry is in the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 11 through 12. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. And if you would like to contact Cornerstone Deliverance Church International Ministries, our email address is cornerstonedeliverancechurch at gmail.com. And our website is www.cornerstonedeliverancechurch.com. Thank you for tuning in to the Cornerstone Deliverance Church International Ministries program. And stay tuned for God's message for you today. Church. Amen. Amen. We're located at 381 Peninsula Boulevard in Hempstead, New York. Amen. And it is hot and heat. Amen. We thank God for what it is that he's doing. Turn it on. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for what it is that he's doing in the in, in Cornerstone Deliverance Church. Amen. Yes. Amen. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want you to turn with me to the book of Acts. Turn it on. Chapter 19. Amen. Just flow with me to the book of Acts, chapter 19. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to look at verse 14. Amen. And for some reason, this ties in with the Saturday school lesson. Amen. That I taught that I didn't study, but I thank God for the grace of the Holy Spirit. Acts 19, verse 14. And we're going to go all the way down to we're going to go down to verse 21. Amen. We're going to read the word of God responsibly. Hallelujah. I'll read the first verse and you'll read the second verse. So when you get it, just say amen. This is Cornerstone Deliverance Church. We're located at 381 Peninsula Boulevard in Hempstead, New York, 11550. Amen. The website is www.cornerstonedeliverancechurch.com. We invite you out to Saturday worship at 12 noon and Saturday school at 11 a.m. Amen. 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 Even prayer during the week on Wednesday at 6 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. in Bible study from 7.30 to 9.30, amen. We invite you to partake, amen. amen. We're kingdom-minded here. Do you have Acts chapter 19? Acts is the book directly after the um, Gospels, amen. I'm going to ask that you stand for the reading of the word, amen. And there were seven sons of Sceva, a Jew and chief of the priests, which did so, and the evil spirit. Let's start at verse 11, beloved. I'm going to back up a little bit. Do you mind? And God brought special miracles by the hands of Paul. So that from his body were brought unto the sick in handkerchiefs or aprons, or aprons and, and the disease the departed from the, from the dead. And the evil spirit went out of them. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, Exorcists took upon them to call over them, which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preaches. And there were seven, seven sons, sons of, of Sceva, a Jew and the chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, and overcame them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Jews, Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. And many that believed came, and confessed, and showed their deeds. Many of them also used curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000. 
So, so why do you prove the word, word of God, God and prevail? And we're going to be 2021 20, together. After these things were ended, Paul purposed in the spirit when he had passed Macedonia and Achaia to go to Jerusalem, saying, After I have been there, I must also see Rome. Amen? Amen. And the word of God is blessed. Amen? Amen. Beloved, Lord, hide me behind your cross. Don't let it be me that the people see, Lord, but let it be you. Amen. Don't let it be me that they hear, but let it be your voice praying, my God. Walking in the garden of their heart on this day. Mm. Lord, we thank you for your word that's coming forth, because the word is quick and active. Yeah. Lord, allow it to penetrate and separate the spiritual things from the soulish things, oh God. Uh, allow it to judge the thoughts and attitude of the hearer's heart. Let it bring us to a quick understanding, for we know that your word does a quick work. In Jesus' name, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen? We bind every spirit of mind, blockage and ear blockage that will come upon you. you in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. 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 Listen, Bishop, you may be seated. Let's take a look at this text on today. Hallelujah. But I believe I am going to ask you to read. Amen? Amen. I want to give you some history first. Amen? Amen. Paul's genuine miracle working. We found that he it says that God brought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Amen. So that from his body were brought unto the wicked handkerchiefs or aprons. Amen? When you see me giving out handkerchiefs, you'll know why. Amen? Amen. And these handkerchiefs caused for the diseases to, to depart from them and the evil spirits went out of them. Amen? So by the power of God in these handkerchiefs, amen, and in these aprons, amen, the enemy couldn't stand the power of God. Amen? Amen. Let's take a look at Paul's genuine miracle working is followed by two episodes that involve false attempts of accomplished miraculous power. Amen? So there's, there's the men of God that have the authority of God, the apostolic authority that has been bestowed upon them through Jesus. Amen? Working miracles and wonders. But then there are those, amen, that is not up, that has gone out not under the authority of Jesus. The first relates to the unsuccessful attempt of a group of Jewish exorcists to use the name of Jesus in their practice. And the second shows the triumph of the gospel over magic and the occult. Where they gathered up all their books and burned them, amen, over two million dollars in today's time. Amen? So this was a miraculous move that the gospel had power over all of that, amen? That even the magicians was able to perceive that this is a mighty work of God, amen?
the God of the Hebrews. Another from the same papyrus read, Hell God of Abraham, Hell God of Isaac, and Hell God of Jacob, Jesus Christ, those Holy Spirit, Son of the Father. Ancient physicians were sin Christus and would borrow terms from any religion. They didn't care what the religion was. That was a spirit of inclusiveness that sounded sufficiently strange to be deemed effective. We will find that, 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 that Christianity has nothing to do with magic. The name of Jesus is not a magical incantation. The power of Jesus drives out the demonic and the spirit only works through those who, like Paul, confess and believe him as Lord and Savior and resurrected and is committed. Let's again take a look at Ephesus. Ephesus was reputed as a center for magic. What are you talking about, Apostle? Ephesus' reputation, they was known for their magic, amen? The famous statue of Artemis, the centerpiece of her temple, was known for the mysterious terms engraved on the crown, girdle, and feet of the image referred to Ephesus scripts. This magical gibberish was considered to have great power. So it would be no wonder that Apostle Paul would encounter this type of move in this place. Before we go into a region, we need to know what is working in that region. Amen? We need to know, hallelujah, because the God does not leave us to be ignorant to the onslaughts of the enemy. It was not by accident that Paul's encounter with magic took place in Ephesus for nor is it a surprise that his converts there had been involved in such practices. Yeah. For magic was a part of these people culture. Amen? Yeah. And that's why we have to remember not to mix our culture that we was in with the things of God because your culture of the world has no place in God. Huh? The, the kingdom of God has his own culture. Yeah. And that culture we must learn, amen? Yes. Amen, hallelujah, Jesus. So we want to, to move forth, amen, and we want to begin to read. Bishop, I'm gonna ask that you read for me at verse 13. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Then certain of the vagabond Jews. These were a certain Jews that was vagabond, that was wanderers, amen? Hallelujah, we remember that God cursed, amen, um, came with vagabondness, amen, that he wants to wander throughout the earth. So these Jews, they were wanderers, amen, go ahead and read. Exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits. Uh -huh. In the name of the Lord, Jesus saying, we adjure you by Jesus. Now, beloved, I want you to pay attention, because we just had history, amen, pertaining to, hallelujah, who has the authority to use the name of Jesus. Amen? Let's look at authority. Authority is exousia. Power to act. Authority. Part of speech. Amen. Non feminine. Power, authority, weight, especially moral authority, influence, derived from later Judaism of a spiritual. 
Kingdom 
16. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. And the demonic spirit from the man that was bound leaped on them, the seven sons of Sheba, and overcame them and prevailed against them. So that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Badly wounded. Huh? Beloved, you need some power. You need some Holy Ghost, Exousia, Dunamis power. Yeah. Hallelujah. Everybody can't preach this gospel. The authority must be extended unto you by way of our faith in the death, the burial, and the resurrection. We learned today that we didn't call ourselves and he called us and ordained us for such a work. Hallelujah. In order to sit in a divine position, you need some supernatural divine power. It doesn't matter how well you speak or how eloquent your words are. You need some power. The word of God says that when the Holy Ghost will come upon you, that you will receive power. To preach this gospel. Only by way of his spirit. Not by our might or by our power, but by his spirit. Hallelujah. We want it as the word of God says that we should have it. Hallelujah. We want power from on high. We want supernatural provision in our day to day living. In our moment to moment living, we want supernatural power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everybody can sing songs as I can. Huh? Might be the wrong spirit. You need power. Try every spirit by the spirit. Make sure that the authority in which they stand on is authority of Jesus Christ that has been extended unto them to do the work. Amen. We have been warned time and time again through the scriptures. Amen. We are to discern whether the presence is the presence of God or whether it be another presence. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And this was known to all Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all. Huh? The fear of the Lord fell upon them. They was able to discern the difference between the authority of God. They came through the apostle Paul. He spent a lot of time in Ephesus. And those that was working the dark arts. Huh? And it says that many who believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also, which those were believers that showed their deeds. Did you hear that? Amen. We grow in Christ from childhood to sons and daughters. Some of us are still grown. We ain't holding against you. Get rid of the dark arts, the Ouija boards, the Zodiacs. Amen. What we deserve is that you're mature spiritually. Hallelujah. All up on your Facebook pages in the newspaper. Amen. Many of them also, which used curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. This was done openly. And they counted the price of them. Over $2 million, it says 50,000 pieces of silver. This was a serious phenomenon. It cost them something. Those books were expensive, amen? Sometimes we don't want to part with things because we spent so much money on it, amen? But that's ill-gotten, amen? Not the right spirit. So mightily grew the word and prevailed. Did you hear that? So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. God, it was the word Paul purposed in the spirit. Our purpose must be in 
In, fire. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And when you stand for love that you are saved, hallelujah, I have the authority to forgive sins. Amen. Jesus. By those that confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And that he has resurrected those that believe. I, he has extended that authority. Jesus. I know the formula of the authority. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. Amen. But don't just stand there. Go and find you a ministry with the death, the burning, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ is being preached into what? Be baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire and be a witness. Jesus, amen. Amen. amen.
Thanks for watching the CSDC International Broadcast with Apostle Asia Heard. We pray that you were inspired by the revelatory word. If you were ever in the Long Island area, we invite you to come fellowship with us. 11 a.m. is Sunday school and 12.30 p.m. is worship service. Midweek empowerment is every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Prayer in the sanctuary and 7.30 p.m. Bible study in the sanctuary and via conference call. 605-562-3140. Access code 139-949-POUND. Command the morning with us through prayer. Monday through Saturday at 5 a.m. via conference call. 605-562-3140. Access code 139-949-POUND. Study the Bible 100% online at our Theological Institute, a certificate program in Christian living, Christian ministry, and Christian leadership. Download our church app to your mobile device or tablet and contact us for all your kingdom needs, baby dedications, and christenings, weddings, home goings, funerals, and memorials. Schedule your water baptism today. The website for the app is www.bibleandjournalapp.com forward slash portfolio forward slash corner dash stone dash deliverance dash church forward slash it's your time to be made meat for the master's use so come to a place where you can be loved where you can be fed where you can grow where you can conceive and give birth this is your season working the work being made ready for our lord and savior jesus christ's return 